So guys, what's going on? Manny Pacquiao picks Deontay Wilder to knock out Tyson Fury. Let's talk about Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. The Filipino legend picking Deontay Wilder to score a knockout. I think the Filipino legend is, is impressed by Deontay Wilder's power. Uh, this fight's approaching very fast uh, and I think it's going to be a cracker. I can't wait for it. It's going to be an amazing fight between two great fighters. In my opinion, right now, confidence level, ability level, I would say these two are the best heavyweights in the world. I do think Joshua's definitely got, can, you know, can change that if he goes in the ring with one of them and beats them. But I think right now we have to say, even though Joshua's got most of the belts, you have to say that this is number one and two in the division. I think Joshua's shown a bit of vulnerability. He's been, he's been knocked out. Uh, so, you know, that air of invincibility that he has been kind of taken away from him. But, you know, I still think Joshua is one of the best heavyweights with probably the best resume in, in, in the heavyweight division. However, I do think that you have to put these two ahead of Joshua right now just because of that loss that Joshua suffered. Uh, I think Joshua is the biggest star in the heavyweight division, but I don't think Joshua is the best fighter right now. I don't think you can rank him number one, after, especially after getting knocked out to Andy Ruiz. Uh, I think these two... Um, are probably the number one and two in the division uh, right now. Like I said, Joshua can change that if he goes in the ring with one of them. But let's talk about Fury Wilder. I think it's a great fight. I think it's basically what everyone's saying. You know, Fury's going to have to go out there and box and be smart and avoid Wilder's right hand. And uh, that power's crazy. We know it. But, you know, Tyson Fury, the things that he's saying up to the build-up, in the build-up, if he goes out and does that, and the fact that he's put on weight, 270 pounds, it's not a good strategy. It's not a good strategy for Tyson Fury to go in there and have a slug match with Deontay Wilder. It's only going to end one way, and that's Tyson Fury on the floor. Um, there's no way Tyson Fury can beat Deontay Wilder in a toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's Ty Wilder has, Wilder's got too much power. But I, I think Tyson Fury's calling bluff. I, I think he's going to go in there and look to do exactly what he normally does. He's not stupid enough to do something that he's not. He's too smart. Tyson Fury is the smartest heavyweight out there. And I just can't see him being stupid going in there and looking to have a toe-to-toe -to -toe with Deontay Wilder. Almono, Almono, as he says. I, he's not going to do it. He's going to fight exactly how he did against Klitschko. And he's going to fight how he did against Wilder the first time. He's not going to go in and change his strategy. It'd be stupid for him to do that. Because it's only going to end one way. Um, I, I think Tyson's going to go in there look to box. And I think he's got a great chance of beating Wilder. But I just don't know. I... Whenever someone fights Wilder, I know that Wilder can be outboxed, but I just know that Wilder's going to land something through the fight. And Wilder's got such scary power that he just has to land once. You know, very few people in the history of boxing have that kind of power where they know if we land one punch, it's over. Wilder has that kind of power where if he lands one, you're gone. Wilder has crazy power. Now Joshua said something in the build-up that he obviously doesn't have, he doesn't punch hard enough to keep Fury down. Well, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. I just think that was a miracle that happened that night, which, you know, I don't know how Fury got up. Everybody was shocked. That just shows you how crazy that that was. Uh, you can't bank on that. That's the problem. You know, if Wilder catches Fury, you can't bank on that he's going to get up. You know, because that was, like I said, a miracle. I haven't seen anything like it. And I just I just think Wilder's going to land somewhere. I hope I'm wrong. I hope Fury Fury's able to box him. Because I really want Fury to win. I want to see Fury beat Joshua for the undisputed fight. I think it's the biggest fight in British boxing history. But I just think somewhere down the line, Wilder's going to catch him. I just, I just get that feeling. Somewhere down the line. It's, it's too long to go 36 minutes against Deontay Wilder and not get caught. And I don't think Fury's got the power to really hurt Deontay Wilder, if I'm honest. I hope I'm wrong. Uh, the difference is with Joshua. I feel Joshua could hurt Wilder and knock him out. Even though I would favor Wilder in that fight as well, I think Joshua's got the power to do some damage. But I don't know whether Fury's got that power. I think Fury's going to have to box and move. And it's very difficult because Wilder's starting to build up, as Teddy Atlas says, a delivery system where he's finding a way how to land that punch land that right hand he's setting it up and he's very quick he's deceptively quick and he sparks you out when he lands that right hand so it's going to be interesting to see what happens i think it's a cracking fight what do you guys make of it leave your thoughts and guys remember to please like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next video